Hello and welcome. Today we will be conducting an experiment on which method of growing your tomatoes will be faster and which will develop shoots faster. So here I have a simple grocery store bought tomato. I also have two pots here filled with garden soil. And what we're going to do is we're going to test the two ways, one with slices and the other with the actual seeds of the tomato. So we're going to use a strainer and some water to take the seeds out of our tomato and we're going to plant it into the pot directly versus just using the slices without taking the seeds out. This is a very common trend on YouTube where they show you that you can grow tomatoes quicker with just the slices without having to take out the seeds manually like so or buying them at the store. I want to try that out and I want to see if it's actually true. So I'm just going to wash my seeds through this pot here. As you can see on my, on my little device here it shows that it's March 29 at around 9 at night. So this is how you know that this experiment is not false. So right now I'm just going to wash out my seeds. And I'm just going to put them in to my pot here. I'm going to bury them in the soil. And then now I'm just going to take slices of my tomato and put them on top or inside of the soil like those experiments show you or those other YouTube videos show you. Okay, so now with that I've got my slices in, I'm just going to cover it with garden soil. So I just have some garden soil here. I'm just going to put it over. Now I'm just going to water both of my pots. And then I'm just going to put the plastic over. And just a reminder, I have both of my pots in a plastic container since the water will leak through the bottom. And the plastic also acts as a, almost gives off a greenhouse effect. But I will see you back when I see some sprouting. So welcome back. It is currently April 3rd and it has been four days. Today is the fifth day since our experiment. So here we have our two pots. We have the one with the slices. we have the one with the simple seeds. Now the whole point of this experiment was to debunk the idea that just simply putting slices into your pot is quicker than taking the seeds out. And I can tell you that right now as you can see here it's all fungi and it's all rot. Of course in nature tomatoes fall off the vine and they rot and then they grow back naturally that way. But in this case, we don't know how the rot affects the seeds and their growth. So we just want to debunk the idea that this is quicker and a more effective method. As you can see here, it's all rotten and these are for sure the slices versus in this pot that I have here. 
on the other side, we have seeds and we already see sprouting happening. And this has only been four days. It's only been four days. Today is the fifth day. And this is this was just sitting on my windowsill under sunlight. So here we already have sprouting and this just fully debunks the idea that the slices are more effective and they grow faster when they don't. The sprouting here have clearly happened before the slices. In order for the slices to begin sprouting, it has to rot away and then it needs to begin growing. We don't know, once again, how that affects the seeds of the tomato. Of course, this is like it's done in nature, but it is way more effective and much quicker if you take the seeds out of your tomato first and then plant them in like I did here. So as you can see here, we have already 20 sprouts in this pot in four days, which is exponentially much larger than the other pot here. So I'm going to continue to conduct this experiment and I will show you how long exactly it takes for these tomatoes to grow from slices versus how long and how far my seeds will go. So I will put this tomato back into my pot here and we will continue to monitor its growth. Once again, it is April 3rd, Friday, April 3rd, and we will be back to show you how this continues to grow. Um, so I'm just going to update you guys on our tomatoes here growing in these pots. As you can see here, the sprouts have grown quite a lot. In comparison to the ones with the slices, there's about an eight day delay between the two. So the ones with the slices grew about eight days after the ones with just the seeds have sprouted. It's currently April 9th. So we're just going to keep you updated on the growing process. So today is April 18th and here I have my two pots. And as we remember, we have the one with the slices and the one without the slices. I just really want to emphasize how much of a difference, how big of a difference these two pots have. The length, the amount, the time it took, and probably most likely also the quality of the plant itself. Everything was affected a lot between these two plants, especially since these, this one, the one that I have here, is the one with the slices. They are maybe three times less the amount of sprouts. It's also much smaller, which means it took much longer to grow. And that can be due to the fact that while these plants were rotting, while these plants were rotting, a bacteria released, helped with the release the, of ethylene, which is a hormone which prevents the growth and slows down the growth of shoots and sprouts and just the overall production of a plant itself. So it made it much more difficult for this tomato to grow because of the fact that it had to rot first. We need to remember that's very important. No legitimate farmer, no one who's actually trying to grow a set of tomatoes very quickly is ever going to use the slice method. They're going to take that extra time out of their day to take the seeds out of the tomato first. And that's extremely important to remember. You do not want to use the slice method. You want to use the seeding method, the one with just the seeds, not the slices. The slices take so much more time. So many more seeds are damaged through the rotting process. We lose so many more sprouts here. So please remember that. Please pay attention to that, all right? So as you can see here, this one is ready to plant and this one is going to go back to the window since it needs a bit more time. So we're going to need to give it a bit more sunlight and just to sit by the window. But we're going to begin taking out these ones. Reminder, these are the ones, these were the seeds, not the slices. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tray that is filled with garden soil and we're just going to take our shoots here and plant them into this tray. What we're trying to achieve here is the community effect. And what I mean by that is that these sprouts, these individual sprouts will help each other and they will support each other. For example, if you overwater, you add too much water, one sprout will take the water from the other one and they'll work together in order to achieve a community result and a community success. So you will notice that as you begin 
letting these grow. If you have smaller shoots here or smaller sprouts, you can put them together so they can kind of be together because you don't know which one's going to grow faster or slower or which one might die off. So you can put them in together. Since the roots are very developed, some of them are much more developed than others. But once again, just put them together and you can see which ones will grow faster. Regardless, each of them will grow and you will have a nice bush with a lot of tomatoes. So now make sure that you water it and then place it on your windowsill with lots of sunlight. And once the threat of a frost, overnight frost, is over, feel free to plant it outside. So we will keep you updated. So far, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this far, feel free to subscribe and we will be updating you regularly.